everybody? You are here with the Chosens. I am Mrs. Chosen. This is King Chosen. And we are here to talk about all the crazy stuff that is going on this month. So we're calling this March Madness because it has been absolutely crazy. And this whole pandemic with the coronavirus is everywhere and it's going to have a ripple effect into our lives. So it's already having a ripple effect. It is. It has already uh, started to have a ripple effect. So I guess I can start with talking about the first casualty I've experienced with the coronavirus, which is in my business. I actually had a buyer back out of escrow because of fear that she would lose her job because of the coronavirus. And I thought that was absolutely crazy <laughs> and a situation where she was panicking and missed out on an amazing opportunity. But, you know, you can't blame people for how they feel, especially with the limited information and all of the um, hyping up, if you will, that the media has been doing. So, Hubby, what do you have to say about the coronavirus? Um... I mean, it's crazy, right? Like, I mean, if you if you're an avid movie watcher of apocalyptic stuff, I feel as though this isn't a surprise, right? It's been shown to us to us for many years about if an apocalypse happened, people would act like this and look at this. People are acting just like they would in the movies. Like, for example, I don't know, I don't know about you, but we went to oh, I guess to tell the listeners. So we went to Walmart today to go pick up some things. Um, have we been bulk buying? No, we haven't because we just haven't. Like, but <laughs> um, so we went to Walmart today, and they were literally cleaned out of almost everything. And when I say everything, I mean like all the perishables. You know, everything that everybody's been telling people to bulk buy, like oh, buy toilet paper, buy this, buy that. Like everything was uh pretty much gone. But pause. And... Is that true? Who like who's been telling people to bulk buy? Because honestly. I haven't seen anything about bulk buying. Fear. Like, are people just assuming they should bulk buy? And like, what's up with the toilet paper? I haven't read anything that says that these causes facts, like massive <laughs> diarrhea or bleeding or like, why are people buying up all the toilet tissue and paper towel? Like, I can understand medicine. I can understand water, canned goods. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. Are you going to ship more? That's probably what they think. They probably think, oh no, we're going to we use so much more toilet paper than we already do use and we need to bulk buy all the toilet paper. I, what? I don't know why that makes sense to people, but honestly, it's fair. People probably rely more on social media than they do the real news. Well, and it's not even, I'm, I'm going to go a step further. People rely more on information that's given to them than they do on actually going to get the information. And that's where a lot of this shit is probably coming from. Because people, everybody I know that's, that's done their research and actually takes a step further, hello, we have smartphones, uh, to just Google and find out from the horse's mouth what's going on. Like, we're pretty much all in the same boat. Like, we're all like, everybody that's bulk buying is fucking crazy. And um, we're just here. We're not stupid. We're gonna be smart about things, but we're not gonna panic. Like, what? I mean, I mean, well, don't, you know, call them stupid. Maybe they have logical reasons and perceptions that we just don't understand yet. But, um, I just, I think that the, that we need to listen to our healthcare professionals. The media doesn't necessarily know what they're talking about. The news anchors, interviewers, um, those people don't, they don't have careers in the healthcare industry. So, like, it's just... A bunch of mass hysteria that's being created when you know what's your doctor saying like, no people don't want to go to their doctor because of what's going on that's one place everybody that's gonna get sick is gonna go to their doctor yeah but there's people so in medical professions who are putting information out there about the do's and don'ts um that you can go to and and not rely on the news because they don't really know what they're talking about. And they're just spreading the negativity. Well, don't group all of them because there's some out there that's like out there actually doing their job. True. Correctly, you know? 
you know honestly, it all comes M S N B C. It just all comes down to do your research. That's it. Do your research. That's literally it. If you open up Instagram, instead of scrolling, if you take the time to look at the very top, Instagram has put out information, a link that you can just tap that takes you right to the source where you can get all your COVID-19 information. Point blank period. It just takes a little more than our daily open up Instagram scroll. It takes a little more reading. That's it. Research. Cool. So enough about the coronavirus. We hope that you all are staying safe, staying healthy, being reasonably cautious and not letting this spill over into the rest of your life through fear and panic. Should I talk about something funny about this corona? Because first off, the, the Just fact... Just have to say it enough about the <coughs> coronavirus, but okay, King Chosen. Yeah, because it was so, it's, you know what I mean? It's hilarious too, because not the virus itself, but the fact that it was people can still make jokes about it. No, I don't, I don't know if it was on Simpsons. But people can still make jokes. I wouldn't be surprised. It but was. People can still make the coronavirus on The Simpsons. It was on The Simpsons many, many years ago. Where you see that at? All over Instagram. Mm, my point is exactly. But I remember watching research. the episode, bro. What's the research? I remember watching Show the episode. Show me the research. My memory. Is Your memory good. is not good. You want to bring that? You want to do that? I stick a toy in your mouth. You want to go that way? Memory, obviously. We know how good your memory is. Wow. Dissing me to the Shoot. listeners. Yup. Anyway, <laughs> um, first off, since I've been hearing the word corona, I'm not going to lie, I want lime. I've been wanting limes for the longest time, and I don't know why. Cor- probably corona, because corona, the, the drink, you know, hey, this could be something, this could be something crazy, you know what I'm saying, where they can, they want to sell more. But anyway, I just find the jokes, like, are freaking hilarious. Like, the fact that you went from the coronavirus to COVID-19 to Rona. I'm cracking up every time I see the word Rona. Then another thing is like, I ain't gonna lie, I don't try. I try not to cough outside because I know that actual people are scared of this thing. So I try to be, you know, considerate and not cough around people. But like, yo, let's be real. The body coughs. Like coughing is a response to clearing out whatever is in there, right? So like, if I go into a dusty place, I need to cough to clear. But I don't want to because I don't want nobody to look at me crazy. So I be sitting there holding my joint like. <gasps> <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. I just had to bring that up. I, I, I literally think about that because even though I, what I may seem is this is just uh, getting out of hand, somebody else is actually like, "Yo, no, this is dead ass." You serious, know? Yeah. yeah. Which I mean, the virus is serious. Yeah, it's really, it's real. It's spreading. It's wild. But um, I mean, it is really hitting Italy pretty hard. Uh, side note: We heard that. Mm, I'm not gonna say that. So anyway, Italy has gotten hit pretty hard and you know maybe they need to just be a little cleaner hey um, everybody wash your hands uh, wash your hands which why everybody gotta get told to wash, wash their, their hands. hands i don't you know little nasties but since before this whole corona incident came about um yeah i've actually been one of those people who've been coughing i don't know if i've developed allergies or whatever it is so it is really hard to like try not to cough just because you have you know, allergies or a, a dry throat because you don't want people to look at you weird. But I will say if you do cough in public, cover your mouth, use your arm, something. Cause... Cough into your arm. Let, oh let's, my goodness. let's go over some basic hygiene remember because who? people don't remember. Cough, cough into your arms. Why do people cough into their arms instead of their hands? Why do you cover your mouth with your arm instead of your hands? It's because the germs get on the clothing and they die. Period. That's I why was just about to talk him. about that man who coughed out in the air when we had to walk right past him. Oh, I held my breath. I ain't, I ain't worried about that dude. Freaking, um... Like, yeah, this dude coughed in the air and I, like, stopped for a little second. Like, that joint passed and kept pushing. But, um... Yo, cough into your arm. Like, that was the whole thing. Stop coughing in your hands. Covering your mouth with... Blowing your nose in your hands. Stop that. Cough into your hand... Into your arm. Sneeze into your arm. And then go on about your business. All right, enough of that. What's next? All right, so other things that have happened, part of March Madness, my hubby graduated from his software engineering boot camp. Woo-woo. Gang, Woo-woo. gang. Woo-woo. And Sir Clappers. Um, so. That's right. been awesome. 
that was tough but that'll be like a whole nother that's that's a that's a whole video in itself going through a, co uh, a coding boot camp Woo, child and then dun 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 he got scammed oh, with yeah. a software engineering job yeah that sucked you know i don't know much about technology and in interviewing in the process but um there's definitely job scams out there and this company basically stole the identity of a legitimate company and it's scamming people yeah and because i was desperate i didn't do my normal security checks when it, when i received something like e like expect like checking the email headers right like clicking into the email and not looking at the the alias name but actually looking at the domain it come from and then cross checking that with the company's domain but that leans back on energy. I was putting out desperate energy, so I got a desperate opportunity. I took that joint without thinking. And you know what's funny? I was thinking about that, right? I was telling them, I was telling you like, oh, but you know, if you test it by the, the fruits of the spirit, you know, if you test it by the fruits of the spirit, you know where it comes from, right? Mm -hmm. uh, or something like that. It says in the Bible, somewhere like that. Test, it, test the fruits and then you'll see where it comes from. That, where it comes from. Uh, but pretty much, I missed the biggest one, and that's confusion. I felt confused. I missed it, and you know, I think I missed it because I wanted, I didn't want to see it. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I was like, crap, and I was a pill to swallow in itself. Like I swear, I was like, goodness gracious, I am dumb. <laughs> so yeah, watch out for being scammed. It's scammers nation out here. Hey. I mean, I felt a little bit confused too, but so much of it made sense, and I felt like the parts that made sense outweighed the parts that didn't make sense and I just didn't want to be negative about the situation so yep we got scammed be careful be mindful there are job scams out there we didn't get scammed to the extent that um you know we lost any money or oh, anything yeah. like that and oh, we God. definitely would have caught it if it got to that point because I dealt with dealt with money a lot and worked in a bank, so um, if it had gotten to that point, we definitely would have caught it. But my hubby did his due diligence and caught it a lot sooner. Sent the scam my nice little message, <laughs> and we haven't heard from them since. Yeah. So to wrap this up on a good note, we had our first magazine editorial published. Woo -woo. Yes, on relationships. It was awesome. We're going to post that. I don't know if there's going to be a link, but we'll post it in the link. Um, if you guys want to read it, it's definitely an awesome read about marriage and the things that we've learned so far and how we work so well together to keep the marriage thriving and continue to grow in our relationship together. Anything you want to add, hubby? No. Nah. I think that's yeah. It was a it was a bomb time. It was great. Remember when my mother said she don't want to meet you until we have enough to talk about. Like we can sit back and be like, oh yeah, remember that? Remember we did that? Oh yeah, remember we did this? Remember we did that? And that's part of her reason. Like she wants to. She wants. She wanted us to be able to like reminisce on some things. Mm, no, I don't remember no? that being Oh, reason. okay. So just to give y'all some pre some uh back some on. insight. Yeah. Uh, my mother told me I couldn't mention her for a whole year. She did not want to meet her until we got through our first year together. This is pre-marriage. This is pre-marriage. Like, she didn't care. She was like, no, I don't want to meet her. And for a long time, I didn't understand why. I was like, what are you talking about? Like, what? But pretty much it was so, when she met her, she could actually meet her for who she is and not from like if I'm just telling all the bad about her or whatever you know what I'm saying like like if I if she did some grimy stuff and I told my mother that then when my mother met her for the first time she would think like dang is the girl I did that to my son instead of like seeing who she is as a person so uh thanks mom for that but she also said like we should be able to sit there and reminisce on things we did in the past right so that's one of the things she said in the thing. But anyway, um, it was just dope to be able to sit there and even though we only are two years into our, we're on our second year of marriage, it was crazy just to have that time to reflect because I feel like we're moving so fast sometimes that we don't take the time 
to sit and reflect. And then when we try to, we get like sidetracked because something new on Netflix comes out. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe your phone might go off or whatever, or whatever. Right. I'm I just, might just want to play the game. Who knows? I'm just a mover but, and a shaker. How about I remember this? Never mind. But yeah. <laughs> Um, so it was dope to sit there and actually like peel back layers to uh, share some nuggets with the world. So yeah, definitely go check it out. Um, the name of the magazine is This Kind of Combo. And you can also find them on Instagram at TKC. Yep. And uh, we'll post the Instagram in the bio. We'll post the link to our to our uh, part of the editorial in the bio. Well, we'll post the link to the whole magazine in the bio. It's actually so a really dope magazine, guys. Yeah, definitely go check it out. And until next time. Thanks for rocking with the Chosen. Peace.